Performance reviews are always controversial. I, at first, I never wanted to write a book on performance reviews because too many people, you know, throw rocks at the parade. I finally did give in and I wrote a book called The Performance Appraisal Toolkit. And the idea was, you know, the subtitle was something along the lines of redesigning your performance appraisal template to drive individual and organizational change. And I like that idea. I thought a book like that needed to be written. The reality is, though, in most companies, it's a paper chase. You have to do the performance review for the employee to get the merit increase. So there's little communication throughout the year, and then when you give them the performance review, either A, uh, they're blindsided by something because they didn't know it was a problem until you put it in writing, or B, you're inflating the grades and saying they're doing great, when in reality they're really not, but you just want to avoid the, the confrontation. I understand that. They've come up with apps now as a solution that says, give employees real-time feedback. That's what they need. Forget about this annual performance review. The answer is, it's not one or the other, it's both. You need to have more real-time feedback, and I think that's where things are gonna change. Whether it is by apps, or whether it is by quarterly touch base meetings and career development meetings, I think that we're gonna find that more uh, immediate feedback is really where the future performance reviews have to go. But you also have to have the annual scorecard, right? It's in finance, you have quarterly reviews that lead up to an annual report. What I found is there are some co companies that have gotten away from the annual performance review and they just use the app. And five years later, the employees are coming back and saying, well, I'm not getting any feedback. I, I want my annual performance review again because I don't know how I'm doing. An app is not a solution unless you use it the right way. And an app has to give both positive and negative, right? Positive and constructive feedback. That doesn't always happen out there. So we have to get stronger at giving stronger, real-time but reality-driven feedback so that when we have the annual review, it's a scorecard, uh, it's a benchmark, it's an annual report that can celebrate the employee's contribution for the year but also point to their own professional and career development.